Okay, so today we got the DK14 Ultra Magnus upgrade. See it right there. WFC S13 from none other than DNA. I'm waiting to get this one. i been hearing some things about it. So we'll take a look at what's in the package. Comes with instructions. That's my little screwdriver over there. Comes with this. Whoa. Instructions, instructions, instructions. Yeah. Look at that. You know. Oddly enough, those are the instructions for the. That's the other instructions for the. The other guy. The, um, the Optimus Prime. Yeah, I don't really care for that toy. But it does come with these nice little weapons. And you can put the wheels on there. And I think that's pretty neat. You can put the wheels on there. So yeah, the Cybertron Optimus Prime. Don't really care for that one. But I like this one. I'm really impressed with this one. I'm going to get ready to get into it. Um, let's look at the parts here. So these are the parts. And they look exactly... I mean, the color is spot on an off bone looking white it's got this uh hammer weapon which i think everybody would love to have for their uh ultra magnus um he also comes with the axe you know which eh, i mean just not used to my g1 toys having axes and but the hammer is real important because i guess that's something that they did on in the comic book so but overall looks really neat um, take a feel of the plastic. Oh my! This. Oh, let's see. Let's they come out this way. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> oh, it fell. But they do feel sturdy. I mean, they really do feel like high-quality plastics. Like, man. And like the company could really use this, you know. This is pretty neat. You know. Wow. Get a feeling of that. It's nice and sturdy. You know. Oh, okay. So yeah. Uh, besides those mistakes there. But let's take a look at what I have currently. So if you guys didn't know. I did a video installing those uh, thigh extenders for Ultra Magnus. And while they look good, you know, and this was a nice cheap alternative, I think they were like 10 or 15 bucks. It doesn't, yeah, it gives them longer legs, but that's it. It just gives them these really kind of lanky legs and the arms are short. I mean, I wish it was a kid for his arms, but overall, it still gave him the height that you were looking for in comparison to how he looked before you put those parts on. So, but as you can see, there's like this, I don't know how to describe it. You know, it's, eh, it just looks slightly off. Like it's not center and flush with him. And what this kit does, it just gives you new height and new legs and we're gonna go through it we're gonna take a look at it we're gonna see how it works you know with ultra magnus and so we're gonna look at his thighs look at ultra magnus thighs but look at ultra magnus it's still a great ultra magnus it's a very nice toy but he just needed a little help and i'm gonna say something about they don't have the proper way to handle the weight so the legs, they kind of, well, you probably don't notice that they're not, you know, it's one of those things where it's not really, but they don't, see, it puts too much pressure on the ball joints, I think. So I really stopped playing with Ultra Magnus because it had, like, I really just kind of kept them on the shelf and everything. And for some of us who aren't going to get the Netflix um, Ultra Magnus, I hate to say it, I mean, I have to pass on it, I mean, for a cape, 
The only thing that's really appealing about it is the rum, but it's not a real, to me, it just doesn't look like another Ultra Magnus. It just looks the same name as, you know, almost like a prototype. You know, like when you buy a prototype from China, that's what it looks like. So we're going to do what camera magic does, is we're going to disappear and we're going to install the parts and we're going to start piece by piece starting with the uh, Ultra Magnus mode and we'll be back. Okay, I just want to do a quick rundown of the legs here real quick. These are the legs with the SL15, I mean not SL15, the uh, Ratchet Studios ROS002 hip extenders. So just to get a good look at them, that's with the hip extenders. And they will come out right here. So I'm going to take one off just a bit. Like I said, don't be so quick if you, this is expensive, well I don't want to say expensive, but this is almost, depending on where you get it from, just want to give you a heads up, this is the cost of almost another Siege figure to do this upgrade. So, you know, this is a lot cheaper. It's just, you know, functionality wise, this is going to do a lot more. They, it's not just a another longer leg. You had to take the wheels off, which I did. So I'm going to put them back together just so you can see the height difference real quick. Because they won't stand up on their own. So this is without the leg. The uh, Ratchet Studios Leg Center. This is with it. These are a little bit shorter. But when you put the wheels on from this guy. Oh, why did not I tell you? My setup today is just terrible. See there's this little mechanism. So when I guess when you do the uh, transformation. You can get you know that mechanism. That wheel. So there's more intuitive things going on here a lot more and it's, it's uh so far so good it's a very intuitive upgrade i'm really looking forward to putting the legs on but as you can see they they're they're solving a problem that a lot of people had and like i said you know i have no hasbro or anything i'm not a you know elitist so everything has to be third party but this is just an example of certain things and you know where I guess we are used to perfection on our figures. We're used to, you know, yeah, it looks G1, but G1 was very simple. These bricks, we've got all this articulation. Uh, I don't know if this would be something that would have been mass produced. That the, this would break, you know, to be all honest with you, this would break. This would break. So let's just... Keep it 100. <laughs> some kid is not going to sit there and want to fiddle with that. And just like some kid is not going to want to fiddle with trying to fix, you know, deal with this plastic piece to slide in there. Because this was terrible to get it out. But this was 10 bucks, and it served its purpose. It, and, you know, it's I'm not going to discount it and say, oh, it's terrible. Because most people are looking at it, you know, you have to have it in hand. But this is better, and of course, it's DNA. They're pretty, you know, they're good at what they do. So we're going to come back, and we're going to finish installing them, and we're going to shoot another portion of the video. I just wanted to do a quick size comparison. So it's a little shorter. Yeah, a little shorter. Maybe I can put them together. That might be better. But I'm going to tell you something. This is a lot tighter plastic, though. It's, it's, it's a lot tighter plastic, but you can see... Well, they're about the same, but you know, yeah, let's get them from the back here. Yeah, they're about the same, but I think, believe it or not, this looks so, this is, this plastic, man, I don't know. Look, look at that detail on the back, man. That silver detail. Oh, my goodness. Man, you, you know, you can see some pins, but hey, you know, so we're going to continue and we'll be right back. So for a quick comparison between the sizes, I don't know. I think it gives him a little bit more of a bigger size. I do feel like he's not as tall as he was with the uh, Ratchet Studio leg extenders, but he's still a little bit bigger, but it doesn't matter because he's mostly going to be in Ultra Magnus mode in comparison with Prime and comparison with the other Prime. So Siege Prime, 
they're about the same not much of a difference there overall I mean but he does look cool he does have a nice you know beefy size to him you know being not to just look like a white repaint of Optimus or you know Optimi as we see here but overall I think you'll be pleased because it looks a lot better it's not as it like I said if you had this toy you look at my previous video for the RS studio it was it was something let me just put it that way yeah it needed a little more uh you know something to it but like I said the price you get what you pay for this one looks a lot better it gives them a completely different look altogether I still wish they fixed the feet though but they did so now we're going to get to the transformation and it'll be just a moment on that and we'll be right back quick update while I'm transitioning to uh, ultra magnus mode I did glue in the panels and they should be just facing this way so hopefully that should fix the issue oh, my focus is off today uh, I hate this focus on this camera and it's supposed to be all great there we go so I did glue it in and you can flatten the legs down like I showed you in the earlier part of the video so that he is the same size as uh, Optimus Prime you know there's an example of that. You know, that's pretty much how they look together. I always did like this head, though. But now it does kind of make him a little bit shorter than Prime. Eh, a little bit. This, let's get a comparison to Siege Prime, because I'm hearing, of course, Earthrise is slightly uh, taller. Slightly. So let's look and put them together. Okay. He got a little shorter, you know. But he's still fat in his prime. He's still fatty. Wax up fatty. Okay. So I just want to give you guys an update. When you get the, the toy, you know, that's what you you can do. Make him the same size if you want. Um, so we're going to continue on. Oh, and I wanted to talk about the feet. So the feet are a little thinner than the actual feet on... On the other, on the other one, like they're actually a little thinner, but they still hold. I mean, you know, like I said, there's some detail in the back that I think is pretty cool. I like that detail. I just want to do that quick update. So I'm gonna get to Ultra Magnus mode. I didn't want to, just wanted to get that update. I'll be right back. Quick update. So just so y'all know that you have to turn him to get the extended legs back. Again, I'll show you. So you gotta lift up the back. You see that piece that comes out. Then after that, what you're gonna do is extend the leg. When you do that, there's gonna be a peg back there. You see that peg? And it just kinda goes in there. And the wheel kinda sit there. And then when you're going to Ultra Magnus mode, Then what you can do is you fold that down and then you get the that blocked leg there. So it's like one big block. Just wanted to give you an update. My camera's really being bad. So that's how it's gonna look before you go to that mode. Alright, we're gonna move on. Now I've already transformed this to truck. Well, mostly transformed this to truck. Now there's a few things that this to uh, upgrade kit fixes and also basically provides a much better solution this is where i see that extra price tag of 24 or 34 dollars whichever way you pay for it i pay 34 you know no shipping some people might have paid 24 or pay shipping you might have got it for cheaper hey good for you but take a look at this so we know when he transforms in the truck it's kind of just you know yeah just transform and that's it but see these hinges right here and I'm a little, the, the, you gotta be delicate with this. 
and they swing forward up here and they slide. Then you're going to look under here and there's a tab there and in that tab Oh, my focus is off. And that tab is going to tab in place. So, I believe that's it. So there's the wheel. And they're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to bring the wheel around. And like I said, it's, it's tricky a little bit, a little bit, not too much. But it does feel a little flimsy just a little bit but it does have a little strength to it and voila now you got two forward wheels which you're wondering well why don't they have the two back wheels what are we going to do with that this is the fun part so you lift these tabs down see right there and it gets a little floppy and then you bring them forward so this solved the problem of the previous toy where it would just kind of, I think I'm, am I doing that right? I just did this earlier. So there's a tab underneath there. There they go. And they do, they are satisfying when they lock in place. So it does kind of solve the problem. So if you ever knew when he was in, little truck ultra magnus mode or the truck mode that he would have that gap there which being in the back having a gap it's not that bad now this makes him look a little more cyber training i actually like it and it does roll it's just that this surface may not you know kind of it's not flat but it does roll and i don't care for the now this is not my favorite ultra magnus as far as vehicle mode Vehicle mode, hands down, my favorite Ultra Magnus is uh, is the uh, is the Legends version because you can put cars on there. This one, I know they kind of copy a little bit from um, you know R.I.D. Ultra Magnus or Transformers 2000. Uh, excuse me, Car Robots because if you say Transformers 2000, people freak out. I mean, I'm not going to get into that, but that yeah, Ultra Magnus was okay. Vehicle wise, that Ultra Magnus was really okay robot wise. It really was just a body on stilts. <laughs> but I like that's for some reason I like this cab a lot better. I like it as a cab. Like I could see this being more Cybertronian. Um, still though, they try to solve the issue of having a gap here. What I would have liked is the wheels to stay there. And this is just a suggestion. I'm not criticizing it. I think it's great. But it would have been better if you could have put something there. Maybe like a spacer to make it look and leave the wheels in the back. But I think if you were on Cybertron, instead of turning into the standard cab. So, you know, take a perfect example. This is Hinkei Optimus. Yes, I own a lot of Optimus Prime. So, this is the, the shelf. This is where I play with my toys at. This is the standard, you know, standard, you know, tractor trailer cab. You know, when... Two wheels in the back, one in the front, you know. But this, now this gives it a different look because you don't normally see cabs like this. So now you could say, well, this is what they would look like on Cybertron. You know, like, look, Cybertron. Here, let me get my hands out of the way. My fat hands out of the way. It's still ugly, though. My God, it's ugly. <laughs> but other than that, it's going to look the same, you know. We could put him into the mode and, you know, see what he looks like. I hate this thing. It's such a pain in the butt to go through all this butt, you know, for the sake of a video because we don't want people to be upset. You didn't turn it into the full. I want to see what it looks like. Well, you're going to see it. And it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you. So we'll be right back and we'll turn them into the full cab and trailer. Alright, here's the full vehicle mode. And I'm going to say, yeah, it looks better. It looks better. It's just the two wheels in the front. And yes, it rolls. Look at it. But 
but but but but but there is an issue that I have. There is an issue that I have, and I'm gonna get into that. So, change my eyes a little here. When you're tabbing in, you see that? See that part right there? I put my finger on it. See right there? The legs panels can come off. Now, you might can glue it together, and that's something I'm gonna do later. Let me get focused, but they came off. Like they just came apart while tabbing those in. This is this off this, this let me just explain. This Ultra Magnus is not my favorite in vehicle mode. Tabbing it. It's just not my favorite. I know it's not like the RID version where everything just unfolds and you know you create it. You have to pull it apart. And when you pull it apart, it's gonna be that part that comes off and I don't know if that's supposed to happen or not. Maybe I didn't read the instructions. I kinda don't do things uh, kind of easy like like I can just figure it out. You know, I didn't read the instructions, sorry. But that's how it looks in vehicle mode. Does it look better? No, you just swap the tire here instead of back there. It's still it's still an ugly cab mode, but at least now I guess it looks like I said it just gives it a Putting a wheel here just gives it a futuristic look or a Cybertronian look. So that's what it looks like. And I don't have the black guns because I don't really use those. So they're in the box of the Ultra Magnus toy. That's where those guns are. So if you're asking, no, I'm not going to get them. Just not going to get them. All right. So I guess now what we can do is, of course, go to the Ultra Magnus armored up mode. And I guess we can take him apart. So let's take those off. And then we want to look at the weapons too. So this is what I'm talking about. So it, uh, see, see it, it came right out. Uh, so I'm not really going to turn this into the, uh, to this mode. I don't really care for this mode. So I think it's, it's, it's just a pain, but yeah, that's something I, you know, I don't know if that's supposed to happen or something, but you see that? You see that, people? Let's get a closer look at that. Let's let's get a let's get a let's get a closer look here. See that? See that where it came off? Right there. Let's brighten it up a bit. You see that? It will come out, and I've noticed that on both sides. That it did that. Like it just came right out. And I was just like, man. So I don't know. No one's reported that yet. Maybe it's supposed to be something where I'm supposed to glue it in, maybe. And I'm thinking about doing that. Maybe to keep, you know, put pressure on it. Because or either they're doing that because they think it might break. I'm still kind of iffy on that. But mine, it just did that. So I don't know. But I mean, when they come out like that, you you can, it pops right back in. So I mean, it, it does its thing, but. You know, I'm not, not sure if that's something I should be concerned about because, like I said, for the most part, I'm mostly going to keep it in Ultra Magnus mode on my shelf anyway, so psh, not worried about it. But it's something you should look at when you get the toy. Um, hey, like I said, you know, you it's up to you, you know. I'm not going to diss it or anything. I'm not going to, you know, go in and have a cow or anything. Let me turn my ISO back down. Okay. So we're going to continue on with the video. And we're going to pause and... Well, maybe not. Because I want to see what happens here. I don't want to pause. I'm going to see what happens when I pull out the other side. And like I said, they... They come right out. I don't really get that. You see what I'm saying? And... You see that? It's kind of... Why does it do that? Like, you know, am I supposed to glue these in place or, you know, because apparently you're going to need these tabs and, golly, you know, uh, I feel like it's going to need some work. I didn't expect that for $30. Like, they didn't even... I didn't expect that. Like, I had to do this off camera real quick because I don't know which way I'm supposed. To. Now you don't know which way they go in. You know, it's uh, 
I mean, if you're the type of person to transform your toys a lot, you're going to be a little disappointed on it. See, they come right off. There's always a caveat when you're using these toys and getting these uh, add-on kits, but you're going to move on. Just got to remember which way they go in. Maybe I need to look at the instructions, which I didn't. So, keep those there for a second. Let's see. Nope, not any instructions, so I don't know. And now I'm not sure of which way they need to go. But I think I need to find some glue. And that'll probably be something else I do later on today, is I'll probably glue those parts in. Because I don't really want to be losing tiny parts here. Alright, so we'll be back with the final transformation and final thoughts. So final thoughts, he's completed. I was a little disappointed with the parts coming loose, so I just, I did it all off camera. I just, it works. I don't transform that often, so personally I think that it's, you know, it's nice to have it. It's a little more work, makes it a little more intuitive, a little tedious too with those wheels because they are loose. When I say loose, they're not, they're loose so that you can slide them. But they're on, you know, sliding pins and mechanisms and things of that nature. But other than that, I don't really think that either kit is bad. I mean, it's just people are like, well, DNA is better. I mean, eh. It took a lot more work to do the exact same thing that the uh, ROS002 did. Uh, the Ratchet Studios with just a simple little leg extender. The only difference is... Is the quality of the plastic is better than those to me um, and getting them out pieces of the plastic actually started to kind of come apart and things of that nature so I mean you know eh, it's one of those things uh, should you get it if you want your ultra magnets to be taller so what this does is this gives you light articulation at the knee and I might have not transformed it right. I might need to have that inside, but you get the point. It's got, you know, more of a knee articulation at the knee than it did with the other ones for Ratchet Studios. So that's really what it does. But it does do it nicely. I did it, like I said, I had some troubles with the little uh, tabs coming out when you turn it into the truck mode so uh, that I don't like so to fix that I glued them together I just you know for 34 bucks this better work but be forewarned on that I don't, it, it's not in the instructions so it's not supposed to happen um, but everything slides in place I mean the legs slide in place I mean you know it just like I said just makes him look like he did with the Ratchet Studios but he's got like some uh, knee pads, you know, I guess, you know, when he's begging for six shot not to kill him or something. But I would say if you get this kit for around $24, it is worth it because, like I say, you're getting brand new legs, you're getting plastics, and you're getting these. Now, I didn't show these off right away because, you know, like I said, first things first, uh, let's get into the any gritty of the toy here, but I gotta say, the weapons, you know, oh, if this was gold, oh, if this was gold, if this was gold, if this was gold, but still, the weapons, man, he's got a hammer now. You know, well, I didn't think that through. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, the Ultra Magnus will hammer you to death with my 
forge, you know. And I'm sure it goes in a little more than that, but you know, his arms are definitely going to stop it, but he's got the hammer, and he's got this axe. And the, now the plastic on this feels really nice. I don't know, this is not metal, it's got a, it's got a nice feel to it. It's not cold to the touch, but it does, it's weighty, you know. And I guess you can put it in his other hand. Like this. Oops. So, you know, let's flay that out. Hammer. He's got a hammer. He's got a, a you know, and these, uh, they turn too. By the way, they, they got like a turning thing to it, but it's real nice looking, uh, you know. It is, these will look better probably on Prime. Let's straighten that out, you know, because real life, you wouldn't have a bit axe. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, so you get these weapons, and like I said, they're real sturdy feeling and not cheap at all. So you're getting just more than just an upgrade. You're getting some weapons for your Ultra Magnus. Again, never cared for the hammer. Never cared for him to have an axe. The only thing I ever seen him do was shoot people. I don't read the comics too much, so I don't care about all that. And sorry for, you know, Prime being in the picture, but he there for moral support. So, my final thoughts on this. This is what I'm going to say, and then I'm done. Overall, it's a great kit. I think the price is just maybe a bit high at some places and a bit lower at others. Um... Would you benefit from buying this kit? If you want your Ultra Magnus to be taller, yes. And if you look at my previous video, since the legs are the same height, it's pretty much going to be the same size. We're a little more closer to six shot. I just don't feel like trying to find my six shot right now. Um, he's going to be almost the same height as Legends Ultra Magnus or Combiner Wars Ultra Magnus. Which one do you have? Almost the same height. It gives him, you know, a little more height, but the proportions are still... It's still the same. He's still got little short arms. You know. But with those knee pads, it doesn't make him look like a long, just lanky leg. He actually looks like, you know, it makes him, you know, it kind of stays in proportion to that beefiness. But I don't think it's something where it's overall like, oh, it's the best. It's better. It's, you know, because Ratchet Studios just did what it did. You you paid 10 bucks, and bam. You know, your Optimus Prime, I mean, your Ultra Magnus was standing tall. And it's the same floppiness. It's really, it's, it's still, I think it's even a little worse than uh, the Ratchet Studios because these hip joints weren't designed for height. They, you know, they were designed specifically to hold it. So the tolerance is for the shorter, for the shorter legs. So you're going to lose that tolerance whether you get the Ratchet Studios or whether you get the DNA DK, uh, 13 14 kit so my thoughts is buy this if you want it if you don't want it you're not missing out on anything if you just wanted to move a wheel you know it's it's you gotta you gotta work to get to it it's, it's not a you know, it's not a simple step and it is it does feel a little loose so you really have to be careful with that part that mechanism of transformation i mean if you're one that goes back and forth with this guy, I don't usually transform Ultra Magnus, but a few times, you know, a year, I'm just, you know, even when I didn't have the parts on it, I just kind of stuck them in the corner, stand them on the shelf, and we're good. But I bought it, because I just had a little extra few dollars, and wanted to see what everybody was raving about. But yeah, yeah, it, it, overall, get it if you need it. If you don't need it, you can skip it. And if you don't want to spend that much money, you can go to, uh, TF Direct um, and or online eBay and get the ROS002 hip extenders and you'll be fine. Uh, you know, just be prepared if you ever go from those R from the ROS002 Ratchet Studios to the uh, DNA kit, you're gonna be fighting it. <laughs> Other than that, it looks great. Um, like I said, in my opinion, because I had it already longer, it just 
makes the legs a little beefier, but other than that, the tolerances are still the same. It was not meant to have legs longer than that. So those ball joints aren't really supporting that much gravity. You know, scientifically, they're not, these don't, literally, they, they're, that was the first thing I noticed when I put my Ratchet Studios on, and I didn't even, so just so we can clarify, when I put on the Ratchet Studio hip extenders, I know everybody's going to say, oh, well, you know, you had those on for a long time. No, when I had them on, I really kind of showed them off a couple of times and then put them back in the corner. So that answers the question. He, in fact, I never even touched him uh, until today. And when I did, I put those on. So the same tolerance. It's just not designed for it. Other than that, it's always your choice. Personally, he's going to stay in robot mode, personally. And that's that. I'm never really going to transform him again. Uh, but I do, like I said, I do like how it looks. Like I said, he's got a, a nice, you know, more beefier look than he did before. Um, you know... I'm not going to complain again. I mean, you know, he does. He's got, you know, more articulation for the articulation people out here. Is thinking everything's supposed to have 900 points of articulation. But hey, it's a toy. You play with it how you want to play with it. I'm going to play with mine how I want to play with mine. Back on the shelf. So this is Ed Talk signing off. Final thoughts. If you want to buy it, go buy it. That's it. All right. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.